Kelvin Donnell Martin was born July 24, 1964, in the South Bronx, New York City. When Martin was eight years old, his parents separated, and according to relatives, his mother pinned a note to his shirt, placed him on a bus, and sent him to live with his grandmother. While a teenager, Martin was displaced yet again when the family left the Bronx permanently and moved into a housing in the borough of Brooklyn. Martin would call the Monument Walk section of the Raymond Ingersoll Houses his new home. Not long after, he was introduced to Islam by way of the 5% nation and adopted the name Shamik. Martin's criminal activities as a teenager earned him a stint at Rikers Island in the C-74 Juvenile Detention Center where he would meet other future career criminals such as convicted drug trafficker Jimmy Henchman. After his release and return to Brooklyn, Martin is said to have aligned himself with the Supreme Team Street Gang based in Fort Greene. It was around this time that Martin obtained the nickname 50 Cent. There is some dispute as to how he acquired the name. Some attribute the name to his greed, attesting to the idea that he would rob someone for any amount of money, no matter how little the sum. One rumor has it that Martin once entered a dice game with only a 50 cent stake and ultimately won $500. Still, others believe the name to be an allusion to his slight size. Martin was known to be armed at all times with his two favorite handguns, a Colt .45 and a .357 Magnum. Martin declined to become a drug dealer in the then relatively new crack cocaine trade, instead preferring to obtain money through strong-arm robbery. He would soon go on to assemble the collective known as Brooklyn Zoo, a group of teens who reportedly targeted blue-collar workers, college students, liquor stores, pimps and especially, intoxicated club patrons for robbery. They collected cash from fencing designer purses and gold chains, stolen from partygoers at the Latin Quarter, Harlem World and the Roxy nightclubs in Manhattan. They were also known to have preyed on customers and event attendees at the Brooklyn Armory, the Empire Skating Rink and the Albee Square Mall in Brooklyn. Martin is said to have attended a Rick James concert at the Meadowlands Concert Stadium in New Jersey, just so that he could rob other fans in attendance. Martin gained widespread notoriety after allegedly robbing several members of the hip-hop industry. His victims included members of the rap group Houdini and a teenaged LL Cool J. Reportedly, Martin approached the rapper in the parking lot of a fast food restaurant in Brooklyn and appropriated the young star's solid gold chain at gunpoint. According to locals, Martin also had a violent confrontation with Jam Master Jay of Run DMC. The tension between his Brooklyn Zoo gang and Jay resulted in a shootout between Martin's group and the Hollis crew, a stick-up gang from Jay's neighborhood. Martin's association with rappers wasn't always criminal or even hostile. Rapper Eric B. was a friend of Martin. The two developed a friendship in 1986 and became so close that Martin became a member of the Paid in Full Posse. Martin was also featured in a photo with other members of the Paid in Full Posse on the back cover of Eric B. and Rakim's debut album, Paid in Full. Its title song ironically recounts the lifestyle embraced by Martin that Rakim avoided by pursuing a hip-hop career. Martin's main robbery targets were allegedly drug dealers and their stash houses. His mode of operation expanded to include kidnapping and extortion as well. Martin would offer protection against robberies, violence, vandalism, and other forms of assault to local store owners and drug dealers in exchange for regular cash payoffs. Those who turned down this arrangement would find themselves the victims of assaults, which were perpetrated by Martin himself. Martin's robbery and extortion proceeds afforded him a place of distinction as the owner of a custom gold-colored Volkswagen Jetta. Martin's pangshan for carrying out his assaults without attempting to conceal his identity garnered him several enemies. In addition to being stabbed numerous times, it's estimated that Martin was shot at least 24 times in nine separate incidents. Despite having never been indicted for murder, he is also believed to have killed 30 people. Because people were trying to kill him, Martin enlisted in the army. Eventually, he was given an honorable discharge and sent back from Georgia to New York in order to face robbery charges after being arrested by detectives at Fort Benning after completing basic training. Upon his return to New York, Martin moved into girlfriend Precious Golston's apartment in the Albany Housing Project, located in the Crown Heights section of Brooklyn. Shortly after the move, Martin was shot while at the Albee Square Mall, and as a result, took to wearing a bulletproof vest. 
Ultimately, and despite his pangshan for wearing body armor, gunshot wounds were his cause of death. He was shot on October 20, 1987, on the stairway of his girlfriend's building, in the Albany Houses, and died from hemorrhaging in Kings County Hospital, four days later, according to the autopsy. He was 23 years old. Paid in full was released three months earlier on July 7, 1987. A former associate, Julio S. Avedo, was convicted of first-degree manslaughter and sentenced to a minimum of eight years in prison for Martin's killing. S. Avedo maintained that he was coerced into committing the killing by enemies of Martin, who'd kidnapped a close family member and threatened to murder both him and his family if he refused. The then 18-year-old and member of Martin's crew is reported to have come by the 13th floor apartment before leaving with Martin around 10 p.m. the night he was fatally shot. Martin apparently felt secure enough that he chose not to wear his bulletproof vest. Martin was found later that evening on the seventh floor landing with heavy blood, from wounds to the head, chest and stomach. Despite all of the considerable wealth Martin accrued from his criminal exploits during his life, his family was only given his gold teeth upon his death. According to relatives, his safety deposit box and usual stash spots were found completely empty after his demise. In keeping with the common practice at the time for New Yorkers who couldn't afford local burial, Martin's body was sent from Brooklyn to Staten Island, and he was interred in a mass grave with four other people. Initially, S. Avedo was convicted of murder, but his conviction was overturned when a corroborating witness supported his claim of being coerced into killing Martin. He accepted a manslaughter conviction and was awarded a sentence of time served, based on an informant's testimony. During his time on the street, Martin is said to have served as a mentor to Brooklyn gangster Calvin Baycoat, who is rumored to have inspired some of the lyrics of then-upcoming rapper, Sean, Jay-Z Carter. After his death, Martin served as an inspiration to Queens, New York native and rap superstar Curtis 50 Cent Jackson, who adopted his moniker in an effort to solidify his street credibility. Initially, Martin was buried without a tombstone but according to family members, Jackson volunteered to finance one as a token of respect and appreciation for Martin's legacy. Martin's family alleges that Jackson ultimately reneged on the promise and revealed that his $9,000 unique red granite monument was paid for by Martin's old friend, Jimmy Henchman. Martin garnered a reputation for walking, not running away, from his robbery scenes. He was said to have never even used a getaway vehicle. 